In Onshape, the group command allows you to locate components relative to each other in an assembly quickly and easily. Let's take a look at how to use that. Right now though, I am in a part studio, not an assembly. And I have a bunch of components that I have imported from Creo Parametric. Be aware that when you're working in an assembly, this command works with either native on shape geometry or imported geometry. Let's start off by creating our new assembly. I will click on the plus button down here and then create assembly. Let's go to the insert button to bring in our part studio. And I'll just select the entire part studio here. You can see the different components and I'm just going to drop them in here right on the origin. That's good. Let's hit the check mark. So I've got my different parts in here and I'm going to fix one of them to begin with. Let's select this component over here, hold down the right mouse button and then choose fix. And there you can see the little icon indicating that the part is fixed. Now let's create our group of components. Let's click on this icon here to create the group. And I will select this part and then left click on this part and then left click on this part over here. So there I've got three of the different parts for my first group. I will hit the check mark now. I have another couple of components. I have a crankshaft and a flywheel that need to be located relative to each other as well. So let's create a second group. I will click group and then pick the two components. That's good. Hit the check mark. Underneath the mate features folder, you can see the two groups. And right now both are hidden. If you click on the show group, it's going to make an icon visible in the graphics area. Let's go back and hide the group once more. This is good and now if I select on one of the components here and drag this out, you'll notice that it's dragging out the entire group together. Let's just drop it out some value over here and I will accept it. What I really want is for this to spin around inside of here and that is going to be a revolute mate. Let's start off by selecting one of these components over here so I can see my necessary references. I'll select it and choose hide. When I take a look inside of here, I realize, oh wait, there's a bearing in here that really should be part of group one. Let's click on group one and then right click and choose edit. Now I will select on the bearing in order to add it in there as part of the group. That is good. Hit the check mark. Now let's go to our uh, not group two, I'm going to go to my revolute mate command and for my connection, let's let it snap into there. That's good. For the other mate, let's let it snap in here. That's good. You'll notice that it automatically repositions the component to where it should be. Let's hit the check mark. I'm not going to create any other Re revolute mates right now. If I click on the crankshaft, you'll notice that I am able to rotate it. You can see that it's spinning through here. However, if I try to drag it, it's not moving. It's not capable of translating because it doesn't have that degree of freedom. So that is good. Let's now bring back the front of the engine block. And that's how you can use the groups command in order to facilitate the creation of assemblies. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.